Hello ladies and gentlemen, Justin Dottie Productions here again with another LEGO review and build. Before we get started today though, I have something to ask all you guys out there. What would you think of a name change for my channel? I was thinking to go along with my vlog channel, Mega LEGO Reviews, or something to go along that line. Please, comment down below what you think, or any other good names that you might think of. Because I'm curious, what do you think? So. Thank you, and without further ado, on to the review and build. Today we are building and reviewing the Bounty Hunter Speed Dirt Bike Battle Pack with 125 pieces, set number 75167, ages 6 to 12. Let's start building. So, as if you may have known, if you have seen my haul video, I got this for only $9 at Walmart, along with some other great deals. Three bags, interesting, interesting. First off, we have a Dengar, looking very fine. I was hoping though, instead of Dengar, we would have gotten, um, I forget. Is it Forlom or Zuckus we didn't get? I do forget. There's those are two very similar alien life forms. Hmm. But yes, I would have wished we had gotten the other one. Because it is not in Lego form as of today. I also appreciate how appreciate how some of these aren't stud shooters. Very nice, very nice. I wish they would go back. I don't know. Stud shooters are good for the children that are not into collecting and mock building and stuff, but. It's what they like. Good for playability. Very good for playability. Unlike some of the fake Legos. <laughs> oh, also an upcoming video. I recently went to an old thrift store and stuff. I found some really old fake Lego. None of that new stuff that like Target and other off-brands are coming out with. But some real old stuff. Lego was around, but this is old, old. So that would be interesting to do, like a little video for that. But yes. <laughs> and with that superhero set I just got, hope I don't get sp scammed like I did that other superhero Spider-Man set I got. Ugh, getting scammed is the worst. Like, believe me, I know. I do like IG... IGG88 or IG88. I should really know this, but... Main bounty hunters, come on, Cad Bane, Boba Django Fett. I don't know, I've kind of been thinking. Boba Fett's definitely better than Django, in my opinion. But, where does, um, what's his name fit into all this? Cad Bane. Why didn't they release that one episode they were going to do of? Clone Wars, where they're fighting each other. Ah, uh, Clone Wars. Go get a rip in the comments for Clone Wars. Ah, uh, such a good TV show. Why did they cancel it? I like the Bosque figure. I have one, but it's... It's old.
So I guess a new Bosk is better than an old one. Just wish they would have gotten some special guns, but you can just put them in a different set. Put them in a little $30 bridge set of the Super Star Destroyer and include all the bounty hunters that were there, including Boba and the other bounty hunters. For, for, I think it was Forlone. And just um, do that and have a ton of minifigures, have a couple stormtroopers, Darth Vader, a couple of the Imperial officers, like get a $30, $40 set, maybe even 50 to stretch it for the figs. Wouldn't be bad. In fact, it would be pretty good. Minifigures are done. Let's get that out of the way. Get some better lighting in here, because I keep forgetting there's not amazing lighting where I, my studio, per se, is. Every time I film, I forget to do that. So I do apologize for that. To have a bit of a better view. Also, again, comment better. What do you like better? Close up, footage of building, or farther away? Also, if you don't like the building and the reviewing is better, please let me know that too. I know a lot of the other channels just do reviews and mainly not builds unless it's a live stream. Because I thought I'd do something different with my channel. So, yeah, thank you so much for all the new support we've got on the channel. 80, more than 85 subscribers. That is great. Thank you so much. So far, not a bad build. Pretty easy. As some of you may know, I recently went to Barnes & Noble and participated in a LEGO architecture event. It's pretty cool. And I received a free Lego Chima set. And the lady was very nice. It wasn't just one person, but they were all very nice people there. they do any more events, I will definitely go back. I've heard now that they do Dungeons and Dragons events there. Speeder bikes really coming together.
And then once we reach that uh, thousand subscriber mark, that'll be amazing. Won't be for a while though, that's true, but when we do get there, even a hundred subscribers or five hundred. Might not happen in the next few months or in the next year, but you can strive to do so. so. Tell your friends, tell your family. Tell me not to mess up. Ooh. Close one. I do hate these technique pieces. How sometimes they just get stuck and you can't undo them for the life of you. Ah. You just can't. Makes me mad. Another thing I've been getting interested in lately are the Lego, um... I mean, uninterested in are the Lego Ninjago sets, just because they're getting very bland. The Rizarro movie was pretty good, though. The sets and all. But yes, the sets were pretty good for the mini movie. And the villains are getting lame too, like the gang. Ugh. I like the TV show, but it's getting worse. Like, skeletons, they were funny, they were good. Serpentine, good. They were robots, like. But. Gang members fighting people like that? Ugh. I thought the Serpentine or the Skeletons could make a comeback, but... No, apparently not. I would agree if they did, like... I miss those kind of sets, like... Fun sets. I'm saying they're not fun now, but... If you notice, I haven't been getting many. Because they're generally not exciting. Star Wars sets like that, too, have been going down in, like, excitement. Excited for the wave of sets that are coming up soon, though. Those are going to be pretty good. Is this speed? It is. How interesante. Muy interesante. A lot of extra pieces. A lot of studs and arm pieces and stuff like that. Up there. Instruction manual. There's all the old sets on them. Lego Life ads. The old Navy's. I have every set from that except that Arrowhead set. Cool, which I don't think I'll get because, like, who wants a set like that? Heh. <laughs> Groot, go check out that video. Any fig wise? Up first is Dengar. Very cool, just like the one we got back with the Freemaker Adventure ship. Exactly like that, except we don't have a, um, we have Blaster, it's a stud shooter, but relatively the same, I think we had printing on the legs for that 
Den guard. This Den guard we do not, which is unfortunate. Some nice back printing there. As we take that off, you can see some very nice back printing. Very nice indeed. Next up is Bosk. Such a cool figure. Ah, oh, I love the Trandoshan molds. So, so very good. The head, ah, oh, I love it. Very good leg prints and torso prints. Much better than the Dengar. And some great back prints, too. I just always love the color scheme. So good. Next up, we have Forlome or Zuckus. I forget the name. Great leg and torso prints. Good back print as well. Kind of looks like that of a stormtrooper or a clone trooper. Next up, we have Forlome without a stud shooter blaster. Very cool head printing. And that with the blaster on the back. No printing other than that head, which is fine with me. Still good stuff. The speeder bike itself is pretty cool. One of the nicer ones we've gotten in a while. These over here can move separately. Have some nice articulation in that. I might get another one of these just for this cool speeder. So nice blasters in the front. Maybe engine turbines, I don't know. Can set a guy in there for controls. Possibly on the sides. Get, say, boss set up in there. Driving along. Set up some guys on the side, maybe. Yeah, just a pretty cool little speeder. Articulate these front wings a bit. Yeah, pretty cool. Like it a lot. It's one of the better ones we've had. That newest Republic dropship with Clone Trooper Jedi Battle Pack. Isn't that great? Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the build and review of the Bounty Hunter Speeder Bike Battle Pack from 2017. Thank you for watching. And if you please, if you haven't, and the subscribe button is red, Please click it and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. And if you, you wouldn't mind, please smash that like button. It is greatly appreciated. And again, comment down below. What do you think of the name change from to Mega Lego Reviews or something else like that? Please give your ideas in the comments down below. And please go check out my other channel, Mega Lego Vlogs. Where I do all kinds of vlogs and other stuff. Challenges too with friends. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a great day, night, time, or whenever. Peace out. Bye.